Susan Sarandon was born October 4th, 1946, in the Jackson Heights neighborhood of Queens, New York. She may have always been destined for fame and fortune, but navigating through her youth was not the simplest of tasks. She was one of nine kids. As such, she had to spend a lot of her time looking after her siblings, like some sort of parental figure, when they were young. While she was generally delighted to do the job, it wasn't without struggles. She had to make certain sacrifices to ensure her family was well taken care of. Being the oldest of her siblings gave Susan an early sense of obligations. She had to push through any selfish teenage desires to be the best big sister she could be. In one interview with Time Out magazine, Sarandon discussed how her family life impacted her development. She described her parents as being overwhelmed. Neither of them had their own families to lean upon, so when they found each other and started having kids, they created a big tribe of people with very little knowledge or experience of how to deal with kids. Little did she know, Susan was actually getting some good early experience for show business. Dealing with a total lack of privacy and balancing all the chaos around her helped her gain the skills she would later use once she made it to Hollywood. She knows what she wants. Now that she's 74, Susan Sarandon has a respectable number of professional achievements under her belt. As an entertainer, producer, and activist, she's gathered up numerous honors and award nominations. She keeps her romantic life similarly dynamic as well, and revealed she has an unmistakable taste in who she dates. Specifically, Sarandon says she favors dating younger men. She says she finds inquisitive young minds more intriguing than seasoned older gentlemen. That's the quality she's looking for the most. She wants to be stimulated with good conversation and healthy curiosity. Far too often, older men become dull and jaded. Sarandon recently sat down and talked with Australian actor Sam Neill, best known for Jurassic Park, about her love life. The two discussed the subject of dating, with which Sarandon is still very much actively engaged. The thing she emphasized the most was her love for younger men. She says younger men still have a sense of awe and adventure. They're curious and inquisitive and not afraid to ask questions. Susan explained that when you're young, nobody knows anything and everything is new. As you age, that inquisitive nature slowly starts to fade away. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content. And stick around to find out what's been bringing bliss to Sarandon's family in recent years. She's had her fair share of flings. Susan is a very capable woman of many talents and has been in numerous exclusive relationships. She's even been married once before. She married her first and only husband, Chris Sarandon, in 1967. Twelve years later, they called it quits and got divorced. Some of her other partners included Franco Amuri, Tim Robbins, and Jonathan Bricklin. After discussing her love life, Susan opened up a bit about some of her career accomplishments. She's taken home a BAFTA Award, Academy Award, and SAG Award, among many other coveted trophies. And that's not even counting all the primetime and Golden Globe nods she's earned. And Susan's fans still always remember her from films like The Rocky Horror Picture Show, Thelma and Louise, and Dead Man Walking. Outside of her work in Hollywood, she's an outspoken activist who advocates for civil liberties and battles to fight world hunger. Her work has earned her the Action Against Hunger Humanitarian Award, and as of 2010, she's also an FAO Goodwill Ambassador. Susan Sarandon has been a staple among the A-list Hollywood crowd for more than 40 years. She's known as much for her off-screen endeavors as she is for her film work. She's kept her personal life pretty private, though she has begun to open up a bit more about some of her private battles. After graduating from Catholic University with a degree in drama, Susan chose to explore her craft while serving as an understudy under the late great Gilbert V. Hartke. Susan and her husband at the time, Chris Sarandon, both tried out for roles in the 1969 film, Joe. Chris was turned down for the part he was interested in, but Susan won the part of Melissa. The film put Susan in her first significant major movie role, and it was a colossal achievement, making many times its budget at the box office. This opened several much-needed doors for her career. She quickly developed into an actress with a consistent workload, landing recurring roles in soap operas and small film projects, including Rocky Horror Picture Show which unexpectedly exploded into a cult hit. Her first taste of critical acknowledgement came after starring in the film Atlantic City, where she was featured opposite superstar Burt Lancaster. She was recognized with the Best Actress nod at the Academy Awards that year for her role. She would eventually go on to earn another four Oscar nominations. 
a period of uncertainty. Despite the fact she was an Oscar nominee, Sarandon entered a frustrating stage in her career during her 30s. She revealed to The Guardian that she wasn't getting the kinds of parts that were challenging her enough. Although she was earning a decent living and having a good time, she still had a longing for something more. She wanted the opportunity to prove her worth, but she realized she was at a crossroads and needed to move on in some kind of way. Susan took a little detour from film into the world of theater prior to landing one of her biggest roles. In 1981, she worked the off-Broadway show A Couple White Chicks Sitting Around Talking, which got excellent reviews. Sarandon kept on acting throughout the 80s, but her path took a significant turn after signing on to Ron Shelton's film Bull Durham in 1988. The studio felt she was too old for the lead female role of Annie, so Sarandon flew herself to personally meet Shelton for an audition. She had a plan. Wearing the same kind of seductive, off-the-shoulder dress like the one she would wear eventually in the film, she was able to prove the studio execs wrong and went on to become the focal point of the hit film's love triangle. Because of her young marriage, Sarandon didn't start seeing other men until later on in life. As her profile grew, the newly single Susan plunged her toes in the big-name dating waters. At a certain point, she was romantically involved with her Atlantic City director, Academy Award winner Louis Mal. In 2014, she revealed she once had engaged in a relationship with rock legend David Bowie. She went as far as to call him extraordinary. The two apparently met while shooting the 1983 vampire film The Hunger. Sarandon welcomed someone else into her life once again when she began seeing Franco Amuri. He was an Italian producer best known for producing the Italian film that later inspired Tom Hanks' coming-of-age classic, Big. The two met on the set of The Tempest a couple years earlier. Neither Susan nor Franco suggested the relationship should keep going long, as they both anticipated it would probably be just a quick fling. Lo and behold, they were both fairly surprised when Susan became pregnant with his child. Even though she didn't know how it would affect her career, Susan chose to go through with the pregnancy. Little baby Ava Amuri was born on March 15, 1985. Franco and Susan ended up breaking up three years later in 1988, but he remained an active force in his daughter's life even after the split. A Wave of Success Susan's relationship with actor Tim Robbins came at one of the most prosperous times of her career. Bull Durham had become one of the highest grossing films of 1988, and she had become a powerhouse of an actress, picking up several more nominations and awards. Between 1991 and 95, she was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actress four times. Finally, in 1995, she won her first Oscar for Dead Man Walking. In 2009, she got involved in an exciting new project. She obtained, with several co-investors, Spin, a table tennis club and bar. Since its beginning, Sarandon has assisted Spin with opening locations all over the world, including New York, San Francisco, Dubai, and Toronto. Single and ready to mingle At 71, Sarandon revealed her sexual orientation isn't quite as straightforward as you may have suspected. She says her orientation is, quote, open and up for grabs. She's conceded that she's into both men and women. Even so, she has consistently had a man close by in her more youthful days. During the 80s, she once had an affair with one of her co-stars from The Hunger, Philip Sayer. The British actor, who died in 1989, was well known for being gay. His orientation didn't prevent them from enjoying each other's company, though. She's spoken fairly fondly of the time they spent with each other. The family grows again. In 2011, her daughter Ava got engaged to former soccer star Kyle Martino. Just three years later, the young couple brought a bouncing baby girl into the world. They named her Marlo May. Two years later, Ava gave birth to her second child, Major James. Susan was thrilled to have an opportunity to be a grandmother. Her childbearing years were long behind her, but having the new additions to the family was like a breath of fresh air. Which Susan Sarandon film is your favorite? The Rocky Horror Picture Show? Bull Durham? Something else? 